how to locate articles with the title and the DOI or the PubMed I. First off, we will go to google.com to search for your title. When you get the title, go ahead and paste it here into Google. So this is an article that I was looking for. So a couple of things that you're looking for here is if you see PubMed, then you know um, this will give you all of the information if PubMed is in the results. Um, if it is not, then you may have to see if you can locate um, where the journal might be published at, um, the journal that it's published in. Uh, otherwise, uh, PubMed is probably your specific source that you'll go to. So it looks like it's published in the PsychNet APA, um, but I'll go ahead and click on PubMed here. Next, I'll see that I have a DOI listed as well as the PubMed ID. So if you can get either one of these, this is your best bet in locating the article. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the DOI. And I'll do um, highlight it and then control C. Now I'll go to the library website and I will click on articles and databases. And then I will click on article finder. Since I have the DOI, or if you have the PubMed ID, I don't need to fill in any of these fields except either the DOI or the PubMed ID. Since I have the DOI, I'll go ahead and paste it in here and click on Submit. So there are a couple ways that you can access the article. If you see anything listed under full text APU license resources, go ahead and click on that because then that's one way that you can access the article. Otherwise, you may have to request it through interlibrary loan. It'll take two to three business days on average to get to you if you have to request it. And you can always check your APU library account um, to see the status of it if you're wondering when it will get there. But in this instance, I'll go ahead and click on find this article in EBSCO. And then um, once in EBSCO, I can see that this is free to read. So I'll go ahead and click on PDF. And then I can download it from here. Okay, so that is how you would locate an article if you have the DOI um, or if you'd like to try the PubMed ID, I'll go ahead and copy that, that PubMed ID. And I'll go back to this screen and I will um, click on uh, revise request. And I'll just click on clear so it clears everything out. And then I'll go ahead and plug in that PubMed ID and click on submit. When you have a title and then using the DOI or PubMed ID to locate it. Again, this you would just go through the same process with the PubMed ID as you did the DOI.